Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and if you are new, welcome. My name is Sunflower Sims, and today we are building a very large family apartment um, that is really light, bright, and colorful. This is a four-bedroom apartment um, with two bathrooms, I believe. Um, and yes, so this, as you can see, this is a really big one. Um, I'm not sure which... Um, like apartment this is uh you can see it in the top left hand corner though and so yeah so first here i am obviously doing the layout and then i move into what will become the kitchen space so i wasn't quite sure um what i wanted to do in terms of color scheme at this point um i definitely um changed it up a little bit later um it does end up being a uh, much lighter um, wood tone. So I used a lot of light wood tones throughout this build. Um, and there are pops of color throughout. Uh, but yeah, I think I used these counters from base game. I think. I think these are base game. And I think these are the ones I use. If not, I use the ones from Parenthood, but I don't remember yet. Um, it's been a little while since I built this build. Um... Yeah, so um, this is coming out the first Monday of January. Um, at the time that I'm recording this, this is like the second week of December, so it's going to be a couple weeks. Um, but yeah, here I am putting in this lighter swatch, and yes, I do use the Parenthood counters uh, instead. And I'm really happy with this kitchen. I tried some things that were a little bit different. I um, used shelving which is not something I normally do, um, but I used like kitchen, like shelves instead of cabinets in some places. And I think it turned out really cool. I am using this one from, I think, Snowy Escape. And then um, just a plain shelf on the side there. I do put some plants. There are a lot of plants in this apartment. Um, yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, this build is pre-recorded by about three four weeks um and yeah so i put in um pops of color kind of like a greenish blue um teal kind of color in this kitchen and then i do end up adjusting the space here a little bit um to make a little bit more room for a dining table uh because this is the dining room as well uh there is no formal dining room or anything it's just the um dining space in the kitchen um there is a office there is a living room there's a large master bedroom with an ensuite and then the three bedrooms for kids that have um a bathroom there too um this build is for a teenage girl child boy i believe and i think twin boys actually um or child two children boys they don't have to be twins but they're both child age and then a toddler girl i believe uh but you can as per all my videos you can always switch up and change the uh ages and genders of the kids and redecorate the rooms um as needed um but yeah, this apartment took me a really, really long time to build. Um, I have been feeling really inspired to build lately, and I've been trying some new things, such as, like I said, kitchen shelves, and I've just been trying to make houses feel like really, really lived in lately. Uh, so it did take me quite a while. Um, this video is 25 minutes long, and it's sped up pretty fast. I think it's like 7 or 8 eight times speed which is pretty fast i normally do six or seven well my videos have been pretty long so t i guess i usually do like seven so i guess it's not that long but it did take me slightly longer to do this build than normal i usually do like six and a half or seven speed i think and this is like seven or eight eight um maybe seven and a half so um yeah and i really wanted to use this round rug because it was going to fit the space so nicely but i realized that there weren't any plain swatches there were only like little kid swatches so yeah and then i kind of use this blush pink a little bit too as some color i um thought that it looks really pretty in here 
Um, I really like teal and like a blush pink kind of color together. I think that they're really cute. Putting in a glow bar. That is my favorite bar to use because it takes up the least amount of space and I've said this before in a video, I think, but it kind of annoys me that in The Sims you have to have a bar for your Sims to have, like, nectar or anything like that because, um, in real life you would just get your drinks from the fridge <laughs> or something. Um, I mean, some people have bars, but, um, you know, I've never had a dedicated bar space in any of my, in, like, my parents' house or anything like that, and now that I live on my own at college, like, we just keep everything in the fridge. <laughs> um, anyway, um, so this is the living room. I do play around with doing these pink couches, and I really think they looked cute, and I liked them, but I thought it looked a little too feminine, and I didn't want this to be, like, I don't know, and not that blush pink or anything means it has to be feminine, but I don't, I don't know. I just didn't, it didn't fit the vibe for the family, I felt. Um, I felt like it fit the vibe more for a single sim doing these colors, maybe. Um, so I do end up changing um, the swatch of the sectional. Um, and then there, I think I do like a white swatch. I was going to do green, but then I was like, that's too much green. So I ended up going with a white swatch. And then I removed the wall and I put the TV and blended it into the, um, into the fireplace here. And I think it looks really cool because I love this fireplace, but I wanted them to have a TV and I didn't want to fit a TV on like a TV stand next to the fireplace or something. I wanted it to be built in, but I, like I said, I really love this fireplace and wanted to use it. And then I tried to do some bookshelves to make them look like they're built-ins, adding some plants and then um, getting some curtains in here. And then in the uh, behind the couch and stuff, there are some activities. There's like a game table and a fish tank. And I think I put something else, but I don't totally remember what else I put in here. Um, that is a really good question. <laughs> this um, didn't come in a light wood tone, this game table, which made me kind of sad, but it's okay. Uh, and then I just kind of scoot everything over just a little bit so that way there's more room to get into um, the room with the fish tank. I thought it was going to be kind of a tight squeeze for your sims before. Um, so I wanted to give them a little bit more space. And oh yeah, I just made kind of like a little bench here with these sectionals. Um, I thought it was kind of cute just doing a little bench under the window. Trying to find some pieces of art that I think worked nicely. I sized um, some paintings down to have some different sizes and I think it created some interest and I really enjoyed that. And then here we are moving on to the entryway. Um, I kind of jumped around in terms of like rooms. I knew for sure what was going to be the living room right away and I knew like the kitchen space and the entryway. But um, the office space, I wasn't sure what I was going to do in there originally. So I... Um, it took me a little bit to do that. Anyway, here I am adding a little bit of clutter to these um, really nice like built-in cabinet things, built-in looking cabinet things uh, in the um, entryway here. Um, oh, this is kind of late in the video to announce this, but um, if you didn't see my last video, I did start using Dove Reshade by Kindle Spice. And so um, Things are going to look different than my previous videos in terms of, like, coloration and graphics and stuff, I guess. Um, and then, as of right now, I am home at my parents' house, so I am filming in a different space. So, we'll see if that makes the audio better or worse. Also, I was a dummy, and I have been, for a year almost, been using my microphone wrong. Um, I have a Blue Yeti, and I was like angling the top of the microphone towards me and it's supposed to stand up straight and I didn't know that my dad has one of these for work because he does a lot of he works from home and he does a lot of phone calls so he likes he wanted to have like a nice microphone so he would sound professional and good on like calls or something and he comes into my room and sees my recording set up and he goes your microphone set up wrong I'm like no it's not and I was kind of like no, I don't know what you're talking about dad and then I pulled out my manual and literally the first page shows 
how you're supposed to set it up and that I was doing it wrong. There was like an X next to how I had it set up and then a check marks next to how he told me to set it up. So yeah, so hopefully that also improves the sound quality. Um, you know, it seems like a minor thing, but I'm hoping it's not like a minor thing. Like I'm hoping it's going to make a really good difference. Um, a really big difference, you know, um, but we'll, we will see. Uh, we'll see. Um, yeah. So that is about it. Um, I don't have any like holiday theme builds coming out this year. I just haven't been in the mood to like build one. It hasn't really felt like the holidays are coming up all that much. Um, my family still has to put up our Christmas tree because my mom was waiting for me to get home from school because she knows I like putting up the tree. So that might happen maybe tomorrow, I would hope. Um, so at the time I'm filming this, it, um, doing this voiceover, I mean, it is December 11th and the tree still isn't up. Uh, so hopefully tomorrow we will do that. Um, getting ready for Christmas um, a little bit. But yeah, um, well, by the time you're seeing this video, Christmas will have already happened. New Year's will have already happened. So I hope you had great holidays um, if you celebrate Christmas. Um, and if you're celebrating the new year on the 31st, I hope you had a great new year. Um, and yeah, I hope, I don't really know a lot of winter holidays other than like Kwanzaa and Hanukkah. And I don't know like a ton about them, to be honest. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed those holidays if you celebrate those. Um, but yeah. I just hope everyone's having a great holiday season or had a great holiday season. Um, yeah. Also, if you hear jingling and some noise in the background, my cat is, like, walking around my room and, like, climbing on things and being a cat. Um, so her bell is jingling and you might hear her. Um, but yes, I'm just talking through this office space, aren't I? So pretty much I put up these bookshelves and I, um, did, uh, a lot of, if I can speak, I put a lot of clutter in the shelves, um, and they're the, th they're the same shelves, so they have the same plant, like, dangling in the same spot, so I thought it looked a little repetitive, but, mm, I guess it's okay, and then I put in the desk here, I imagine that this, um, parent, I was imagining the dad, but it could be the mom or something, um, or if you have, um, two dads or two moms or whatever. I just imagined one of the parents, um, in my head, a dad, um, doing, um, like business or journalism or something and working from his office. Maybe he does business and he has clients that come in and he has to have like a space for them to sit, something like that. And then I was trying to figure out how to fill up this wall space. Uh, I really struggle with that. I eventually changed the shape of this room a little bit, um, like bump out, that wall next to the door so that way the master bedroom is a closet because the master bedroom is right off of the office which is a little bit of a strange layout I think but I don't know I think it's fine um I imagine this was supposed to be like a formal dining room or something but the family that lives here didn't want a formal dining room because they have room for a dining table in the kitchen area and they would rather use it for like a home office um, moving on into the master bedroom, I wanted to keep this room really simplistic and modern and, uh, really cool, and I use a blue bed. Sorry, I just yawned and I tried to cut up as much out of that as I could. Um, when I do voiceovers, I yawn a lot and I don't really know why, um, and I try and, like, talk through them, muster down the yawn sometimes, but then it sounds bad, so then I try and cut out as much of the yawn and, like, re-record that section um but yeah anyway decorating the master bedroom like I said putting in a vanity um with a green accent chair and here is where I carve out some space for a closet and I think by changing the shape of the wall it made the room um the office space seem like less like daunting I do switch out the the um, closet back to the one I had originally because I realized it was going to be too big for that little bump out space um, and it was sticking out so I do change that uh, and then I do another ottoman or not autumn, ottoman or bench or whatever you want to call it under the window and then adding some decorations and plants to the vanity here uh, and yeah that is um, almost it for the master I think um, I'm not sure 
did I do the accent wall on the back wall yet? I am, this is probably really stupid, um, because I'm sitting here recording this and I wasn't, I don't know, I must have blinked for a second. Okay, yeah, I did the accent wall with the brick. I like to do it, I like to do that sometimes. I think that it creates, uh, some interest without, um, like adding a lot of art and stuff um because sometimes I don't I feel like we need more art in the game um yeah I feel like we need more art and so I like to do these accent walls because then you don't have to like put as much art on the walls if any or anything and I think it still looks cool and then here we are working on the master bathroom um it took me a second to figure out uh what like wallpapers and stuff I wanted to do and then I kind of create this column between the bathtub and shower, and I thought it was a little bit different and a little interesting. Um, so I liked the way that turned out. Um, and then I was going to put the sink there, but I didn't like the way that looked, so I just put it across from the tub, and then um, changing the tones, um, there are the swatches. And then uh, adding in some bathroom clutter, towels, toilet paper, stuff like that. And um, adding in more towels, a bath mat. And then I think I put like one piece of artwork above this tub. And then um, adding toothbrushes and soap. And then that is about it for the master bathroom. Uh, and then I think we jump over to um the teenagers room here in a moment um oh i guess we do the hallway and doors first <laughs> that would make sense um yeah this hallway is pretty simple i don't do too much in here i put in some rugs i know and then i think i put in like a end table here on this wall i was just scrolling through the menu trying to find something i liked but i end up um, like I said, I think just putting, oh no, I put in this shelf and I didn't really clutter up this shelf too much. I thought it was okay as is. Um, I might put a couple things on there. I thought about putting a basket of like blankets and stuff in the, um, living room, but it just, I didn't feel like it fit the vibe or had the right, um, amount of space or anything. And then here we are moving on to the teenage girls room. I do another accent wall in here, and, um, yeah, this is a pretty big room. Um, I imagine that this girl is really into art as well. You'll see that in a little bit. I do create an art space for her. Um, yes, anyway, I'm realizing I might sound kind of, like, down or off in this voiceover because I feel down and off. I got my booster shot yesterday, and I feel so wiped. I had a terrible night sleeping. Like, I did not sleep much um, or well, and, like, I was, like, I think I had a fever on and off because I was, like, freezing cold, and then I'd wake up, like, feeling like I was on fire, and then I'd be cold again, and it was just miserable, and I felt achy, and I just feel really run down and tired. I feel kind of weak talking through this voiceover. I've taken a couple short breaks, like, 30-second breaks here, um, but I just, like, I feel so tired just from talking. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to do that mural on the wall here, but for some reason it kept jumping up to the top of the wall when I sized it down, which was really annoying, but eh, it worked out. I just did something else, um, a similar mural. I eventually gave up because it was just, like, driving me crazy that it wasn't going to work. Um, but yeah, I do this one. I imagine she painted it um, herself on her wall or onto a thin canvas and put it on the wall. And then I give her her own desk space here, adding a backpack. Um, and then I found these lunch boxes. I kind of forget they exist. And I put them in the kitchen. Um, I imagine the boys bring their lunch to school all the time. Um, yes, and then adding some decorations onto the... Um, the dresser like the makeup clutter and bathroom clutter with like the hair dryer and stuff and then this is her little art space again I imagine she did some of these paintings um and I imagine she's very very into art wants to go to school for it perhaps uh and yeah this is 
almost it for her bedroom I think I wanted to do some clutter but I just I didn't feel like that fit her um, so I didn't use the kids clutter and then here I am moving on to the next bedroom which is for twins or um, two children whichever you prefer I just keep saying twins because <laughs> they're both child age but they could easily be like a couple of like years apart or something like that um anyway adding in a, ch a table instead of doing a desk i did a table and then i um use it as a desk space for the two of them um adding in some clutter on their desk and then i give them each like a journal um i give them some toys i imagine one of the kids was like really into like they're both nerdy, kind of, but in different ways. I imagine one of them's, like, really into video games and, like, specifically, like, void critters and, like, stuff like that. And then I imagine the other one is, like, really into, like, science experiments and stuff like that. So both, like, quote-unquote nerdy in a way, um, but in different ways, if that makes sense. Um, and then just picking out a rug for the space. I really wanted to use this rug with the void critters, but it was just way too massive for the space. And I think if I sized it down, it just wouldn't be the right size either. So I end up putting in this plain blue rug and then a froggy rug. And I think it turned out really cute. Um, adding in some curtains. I didn't, well, more like blinds. I didn't really want to put curtains in the space. I um, liked the blinds for them. Um, and then moving back into the hallway space, realizing it looks kind of plain, so just trying to fill in the space a little bit. And then we move into the toddler's build. At this point, this was the or I'm sorry no is this the toddler's room no we don't have a toddler in this build we have a playroom I think I think yeah so um there is no toddler there is I was going to do a toddler but then I decided to make it a playroom so there's just three kids in this build not four I was thinking there was four uh, yeah, so this is the playroom. I use some things that I don't normally use, such as, like, the puppet station, because it's kind of big, and it doesn't always fit in two builds. Um, and then just adding some toys throughout. You know, it's a typical playroom. At this point in the build, I was starting to feel kind of fatigued from this build. Like, I love building, but towards the end of the builds, I'm just kind of, like, I'm ready for it to be done. Um, it's taken me hours, like, it's a lot. And then I use this avocado rug, um... And I think it turned out really nice with um, this green swatch, this striped kind of swatch. Um, just like I said, filling in with clutter and decorations and lots of toys for them. Um, I don't really know what else to say about it. It's a playroom. I mean, there's just toys and kids decorations. Uh, and then we are putting in some paintings and some posters and things like that. And then um, we're getting close to moving on to the bathroom. Um, we will be doing that in just a second after I put in some curtains. And then, uh, yes, working on the main bathroom for the kids and guests. Um, picking out some tile and wallpaper. I do a shower tub combo for them. And then um, I give them two sinks um, in here just because there's space for it. And then, um, it's a typical bathroom, filling it up with some clutter. And that is about it for this build. We're going to move on to the screenshots here in just a second. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thums, thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you never miss an upload. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye, guys!